Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Koku is here with Shadow and Stan. Unfortunately, Fabrizio isn't with us for this episode since she is busy, but she will return for the next one. We are continuing Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Hello! Ooh, I just got up. Baby <laughs> <laughs> <the> Shadow, y'all. <laughs> December 28, Lodging Hall, 3rd Floor, Acro's Room. <laughs> <laughs> this is it! What's wrong, Mr. Eight? Oh no. I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You've only had to climb two flights of stairs. <laughs> Pant. Man, that's me after three steps of a single staircase. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> that's me after sitting up in bed. <laughs> Anyways, this is the place, Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Eh? That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. Yeah, I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful not to make sure you've got. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. No one even acknowledges the joke. <laughs> the seven <laughs> Phoenix is used to it by now. <laughs> Money has been added to the court record. I wish money would be added to my court record. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a court record. You're the one stealing people's nip nops, Stan. <laughs> if I have nip nops, then I'll get a court record. It all it all you don't makes get sense. A trial for stealing nip nops. You just go to jail. I get to go to the nip nop paddy wagon. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Not paddywhack, get the dog <laughs> <laughs> It's a monkey calendar. Whoever's in this room must really love monkey. I a monkey just <laughs> loves himself. <laughs> Maybe a little too I much. Wow, I just realized that the year is almost over. Amazing how time flies, huh? It's been one wild year, especially the last part. With all the murders. That's every part. <laughs> <laughs> well, last part especially. Well, we still got one last person to help this year. Max. The bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. The maid did. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Nick, there's nothing unusual about that at all. It's how things are supposed to be. Can't a man respect another man for doing something said man cannot do? No. <laughs> That's gay, Phoenix. He's got a barbell. Neat and ripped. <laughs> Look around, Perfect everything he's got is off of body training. Wait a second. This is so shit, I see your TV all the time. Look at me Phoenix just looks at all the exercise equipment and gets tired immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes, just looking at it. Yeah. Hey, Nick. What? I don't have this one. The Sparbell here is a new model. 
Don't overdo it, Maya. You don't want to end up a muscle woman. <laughs> How do you know? Know? If I like she, does. she can be a muscle woman if she wants. <laughs> hey, the net trip. More like I'm ripped. <laughs> Money must be prone to breaking things. He's hardcore. Um... The net looks fine to me. You really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live life above the rim, you know? <laughs> There's a better way to say that sentence. You're joking, right? <laughs> no, you think the monkey has got a proverbial game? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Of course! No! <laughs> monkey doesn't think the phone got an empty <laughs> No! I sensed what you were going to say, and I needed to stop you! <laughs> no! I <laughs> don't know if they're advantage! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Why is this conversation happening me? We can do this even this without the puppy. The day of our lord. It's Saturday over here, you're out of luck. <laughs> That's also the day of our lord in Jewish culture. <laughs> okay, it's there. Holy cow! There's a four and a mirror. Everything's so shiny. I'm very distracted by these shiny things. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Maybe he lifts with that too. Nick, I found it! Your badge, it's right here. Half eaten. <laughs> oh, my name is that. God, I'm so hungry. Thanks, you really <laughs> saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. That looks like a ring pop. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> that is a ring pop. It's a ring. Pop. There's something engraved on it. From T to R. <gasps> now you're making me yawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Even. Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> Why? Why is he? Why? Why wrap it up now? <laughs> you don't know shit. I think even if we do know shit, there's no guarantee Phoenix will ever win a trial in court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phoenix. Whatever you say. <laughs> Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of shit story will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck. Phoenix, what kind of lawyer are you? A bad one. We already he established doesn't even that. Know he's gonna be the witness. Well, no, defense attorneys aren't allowed to know that information, but Phoenix breaks the law and uh, discovers that half the time anyway. <laughs> I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. The surprise no, witness, me. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. I don't think magic is permitted in the courtroom. <laughs> Well, Maya has channeled some spirits before, so... <laughs> and I'll do it again. Aw, 
I'm gonna start the trial of Alpha Breezy. I didn't realize we were this close to it. Press F to pay respects. December 29, 9.43 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. Hey, good morning, Max. Max? Milk. Milk. What? <laughs> if I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. S stage? Um, don't worry. There won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick. Max is really nervous. Yeah, I wonder why. Could it be because he's on trial for fucking murder? No, it's because he doesn't it's have his milk. Maya. It's because he doesn't oh. have his milk. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my sweeties! What? Can we have a last meal, like a last trial? Get this man some <laughs> milk. You don't think I could fly, do you? Not in the courtroom! <laughs> you huh? know, you've got to make a good first impression. <laughs> when I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 no. There's no flying in the courtroom. <laughs> Having you flying around the courtroom, it just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Can't drink your milk while you're flying. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie! What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can't fly, Max. I can see it <laughs> now. The dashing have young you, lawyer have flying I fabulously into the that I'm a man who knows how to fly. One glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really, no one needs to fly today. And how I have you offered me to fly? Wow. You already <laughs> dazzle everyone by entering. <sighs> Nick, what's that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. <laughs> Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. <laughs> <laughs> into it. December 29, 10 a.m. District courtroom, courtroom number two. <laughs> and now the case of one. <laughs> what? Oh god, I haven't thought of him. Your honor, get on with it. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Johns. <laughs> so... Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, your honor. He does often go by that name. Unfortunately. You know, my grandchild's a huge fan of his. And now your grandchild will see him go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it sounds more friendly. 
Why is this a priority in a murder trial? <laughs> I mean, murder is so commonplace. They're pretty chill about it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if that is to our advantage. No, so you don't have to say you ha don't have to see the name Billy Bob Jones a hundred times. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah. That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its leg legitimacy. I would be pretty skeptical of a spirit ch channeling trial, too. It did not count, did you hear me? I don't know, in the court of law it counted. <laughs> She's been so upset about, about that. Last time. You have no chance. Zero. Zilt. Nada. I am not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I will show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. I'm not on trial! You're teaching me really? how to prove that I'm guilty? Guilty? <laughs> what are you talking about? Be grateful, Phoenix. She just whipped you. It <laughs> will be my ultimate revenge. Her dad is gone, you know. The prosecution is finished. Let's hurry up and wrap this case up this waste of time. <laughs> you didn't even- you didn't say anything about the case! You just talked about how much you hate Phoenix! I mean, fair. I wonder if people, like, watch this on their t Like, this is just a courtroom <laughs> drama. This is a drama, like- <laughs> you don't if, know if this is how courtroom. trials were in real life, I'd be signing up for jury duty every time. This is a soap opera. You don't tune in the TV to watch a murder trial. You're tuning in to watch your soap. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up here now. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. Don't mention it! It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, I forgot my voice. <laughs> Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, detective. You may proceed with your testimony. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 8:40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. 9:40. 9:40, sorry. All the circus performers gathered in the big top to practice their routine. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a door now. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in the neck.
I see he was beaten to death. Here is the autopsy report for the victim. The court accept this accept this evidence. Blunt object. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Do you want me to read it again? Or? Yeah. Huh. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. Hold it! Let me ask you about the snow. It's very relevant. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. No, let me see. There's got to be more of this. <laughs> yes, snow is the best evidence we've collected so far. Eh, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing the night of the crime? All the circus performers gathered in the big top to practice their routines. Hold it! When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Regina the animal tamer, Mo the clown. Ben the Vancroatus. I finally said the word, you guys! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! <laughs> and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? The one who's trying to steal my cookie. <laughs> <laughs> my cookie badge. When I was my investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my witch cross. Murder the monkey. <laughs> monkey. You're welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. Put the monkey in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I was trial for monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't- I wouldn't put it past them, they'd put a monkey on trial. They already put a bird, why not a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> the practice session broke up around 10 p.m. Hold it! After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? <coughs> Regina was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Ben the Vakilitus went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. The Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. Wink wonk. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? 
it seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the Lodden house at 10.15 p.m. Hold it! I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. Uh, um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We got a witness that told us how the whole thing went down. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Alright, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Because it was hit with a whip. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Hold it! A wooden box? That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? And you didn't get anybody to try to pick it open for the case? <laughs> this may be my only chance, so I may as well ask some questions. Uh, about the wooden box? Yeah. <sighs> this wooden box, you figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron. Iron plating? Why do you think it's lined with iron? I figured I just did it to make the box heavier. Ouch! I think we could all do without your guesses, detective. Stick to what little you actually know. Don't be mean to him, he's trying his best. <laughs> so, sorry. Suffice to say, the box is really heavy. Much better. You may continue on, detective. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped the vertebrae in his neck. It. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? <laughs> You've done your homework, pal. You, you just told us right in this courtroom! <laughs> and you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. It was the my, carpet. My theory is that it's something was the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so. 
Especially since you didn't find it on the sea. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with magic. Ha <laughs> ha! There wasn't much oh, that we could go after a gumshoe with oh, this time. <laughs> what? I was I just automatically started reading, but it's Maya, not Phoenix. Oh, yeah. He gave us the facts as he saw them. But there's gotta be more to this. I didn't see anything. But that's why you're the lawyer and I'm the medium. The not night of the trial, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m. Makes it extremely cold out. Yeah, so now... What do you guys... Well, this one's this one might be a little trickier since there was something else that should have been done. But we didn't do it. Yeah, like, it's it, we can still go back to it. But I also don't want to... Oh, the other um, questions for that one? Yeah. Um, the fifth, the fifth, one, two. Yeah, let's do that again before we go on. Yeah. Wooden box. Dumb that the game makes you go through this all again to pick different answers. About the lock. About the contents, maybe? Oh. You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? Well... It had quite a sturdy lock on it. It took quite a bit to open that bad boy up. So, when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Yes, it was. Some of the Ferentis team took it back to the precinct to crack it open. I see. Continue, Detective Gumshoe. Do we have to do it again, or...? Yeah, like, the, mm. the one that proceeds is the one about the content. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> we gain- we do gain more information on the yeah. others, but... They're just more like, you know, small details. <laughs> Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we wound the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So I took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Bottle? Who is that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. It has ketchup in it. <laughs> What's inside the bottle? Ketchup is a murder weapon. <laughs> it's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. And with that, we will wrap this episode up right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. See ya! Another button on Homestar. I don't remember. Games, right? No, there weren't any games. I thought there was. I, I swear there were games. What about email? <laughs> Home Star Runner is good. Uh, where do I want to put this? I don't know. Put this. I'll put one over here.
this one up. Uh, a little bit more river. I'm certain we're going to need that soon. Give like no place for this. Probably because I'm supposed to move the river over. But. Uh, yeah, because, Vap, you, you do the, the stuff from that one source that Coco really likes. The Lobco stuff. I'm really bad at remembering the name remembering in the name of it for some reason. Lobco's just so easy to remember. Yeah, like also I, just you're adding to the character also, so it's like, why it's not even the same character at that point. Like roleplay stuff just takes it further. Um DSP. DSP just makes my brain think of, uh, that one streamer, DSP Stanky. <laughs> he was, like, a Lucio main who could, like, wall ride forever. Before wall riding was really easy in Overwatch. This music sounds a little high. I don't, I don't think I turned it down far enough. I can turn it down to, like, three. There we go. Territory 12... Is this going to be a locked zone? Am I going to have to deal with Goro only? I sure as hell am! It's hammer time, baby! Oh god, you saw his thong. 